Hey there, creative worshipers. My name is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags. Today, we're talking about a really sensitive worship flag FAQ. Are you too fat to use worship flags? Yep, I said it. We're going to talk about body issues and worship and how it can inhibit or prevent a pure worship before the Lord. Stay tuned. <music> I do that no matter where you've grown up that women and body issues and men and body wish issues for that matter is a really sensitive subject and it actually doesn't even matter if you're overweight or underweight we almost never love our bodies we feel self-conscious in them and then when you add worship flags this big billowy piece of fabric that really is almost shouting, look at me, it really brings up anything that we have uh, as a body issue. And we're going to talk about that today. We're going to have real talk. I'm going to talk about my issues. And, and we're going to talk about what I have seen in 11 years as I have served worshipers around the globe. Then we're going to take a look at what God says about it. This is Real Talk. I am going to share very vulnerably and intimately with you about my own body issues. Now you can see I am not a size six. Over the last 11 years, I, my weight has fluctuated up and down, but I have never stopped using worship flags. So I'm still using worship flags and I have had to get over myself because I really, really will inhibit the worship that I give to the Lord. It's not about what people are, are looking at or what people are seeing, although it is in front of people. So there's this, this balance that you have to know who you are, what you're called to, and do what you can, but understand that your worship is beautiful to the Lord. Your worship is pouring your body out. Don't wait until you're a size six to start worshiping with flags because you feel inhibited that people are going to be looking at you. Let's talk about what is actually happening during the worship. You know what they say about when you're concerned about what other people are thinking about you? They're actually not thinking about you. The reality is when you worship with worship flags, they're probably not even looking at your body because what they're seeing is this beautiful form of worship, the flow of the, the flags and the color and the fabric that is far beyond your own body. There is some hiddenness that you can take comfort in in using the worship flags because people are looking at the worship flags. They're not looking at you. When I first started worshiping, I really had a big issue with my body. I felt uncoordinated. I didn't feel good in my skin and I didn't feel comfortable using these worship flags. They felt awkward. There was a lot of fabric. There are a few suggestions that I can offer that'll hopefully make you feel a little better about your body. When I was leading a middle school worship team, one of the things that we would do before we got into any kind of worship was just stop and take stock of our body, that we would feel our body in the space and we wouldn't move until we were so consumed with Holy Spirit, allowing him to talk, to teach us, to talk to us and to help us to move. This got us outside of what I was feeling about me and I was only feeling Holy Spirit. So this is a discipline and a practice to get into is to stop, don't move, don't do anything until you recognize that Holy Spirit is there with you. That will take the pressure off of you to move or do anything in a certain way and you will actually be one with the Holy Spirit moving and flowing. That is probably not my number one tip. I've got one more for you. Here's another suggestion for you to help you feel uninhibited in your dance movements. Fall in love with Jesus. Know who you're worshiping and why you're worshiping. There's something really powerful when we watch someone who is deeply in love with their Jesus worshiping. It invites everyone else to enter in no matter what every, anybody else is feeling. Because believe me, if you're having body issues, so are other people. And they're not even in the front with worship flags. And so when you have a freedom to just express and show how much you love Jesus to demonstrate it through color and movement. You are a giving freedom to someone else that might actually unlock their ability to worship uninhibited. We can always take our cue from King David who danced with abandon before the Lord, even though his wife chastised him and rebuked him in front of the maidservants because he was acting 
probably downright foolish. He had taken off his royal ephod and was dancing what was considered their underwear. If David can dance in his underwear, you can dance using worship flags. A bonus suggestion about how to feel comfortable using worship flags when you're dancing in front of a, an assembly. Use clothing that feels comfortable. If you use praise garments, you might feel more comfortable with the with the looseness of the clothing. If you don't use praise garments, try using clothing that is that fit that fits and makes you feel comfortable while you're dancing. For me, that generally is some sort of a black tight, like a yoga pant, and then I use like a tunic and making sure that everything is tucked in, that it's not going to fly up or expose a belly. There's a lot of the reasons why you don't want that to happen, but just knowing that you're comfortable will ease you into that so you're not thinking about having to keep everything tucked in, strapped down, and you can flow and enter into worship a lot more freely. I hope that helps shed some light to this overly sensitive issue that nobody seems to be talking about, but we're probably all grappling with. This is a big issue and the Lord doesn't want anything to come before you and, your, and the worship that you have as you serve before him. And so allow the Lord to teach you, talk to you and tell you how much he loves you and how much he loves your, the worship that you give to him. It honors him and it really does bring others into the throne room of God, allowing them to have the same kind of freedom. Let me know in the comments if you've ever had body issues that have prevented or inhibited your worship. What's your worship like FAQ? Post your question in the comments and I'll make a video replying to you. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and elevate your praise with Catch the Fire worship flags.